Now, first off, we have to address right out of the gate. Why do you still keep talking about old stuff? Because A, it's hilarious. B, if you don't like it, just don't watch this video, right? Or, or just move on to other things. Why are you trying to police what people are talking about? Dangerous precedent, right? So last season, uh, after a last second win, uh, Minnesota Fighting Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins, as well as a former head coach Mike Zimmer, they, they got into a bit of a sideline altercation. Now, from the video, it, it, it seems like Kirk Cousins comes over there. Uh, he says, yeah, like that little shove and then Zimmer hold me back dog hold me back now I would have loved to have seen them just throw down just straight up fisticuffs because I got Zimmer by a wide margin I, I think Zimmer would be a buck 50 favorite uh, against Kirk Cousins in a straight up street fight because even though Kirk he's younger he's fitter uh, and has the reach advantage I think Zimmer just a has that dog in him has uh that that dog and determinist that grit that old man strength I think he would have won even with Kirk wearing helmet and pads. It's hilarious. But, yeah, that, that assistant holding him back, uh, the get-back coach, uh, yeah, he, he denied us the, the, from greatness. It, it's amazing, right? But, uh, of course, after the celebration altercation, uh, th they said and did all the right things. They got their story straight, whatever. Zimmer said, honestly, he's doing exactly what I told him to do. He's being a leader. He's being vocal. He's showing emotion. Sweet emotion i've been talking to him about it all year he came over and said you like that he kind of gave me a shove and i shoved him back it's all good in the hood kirk on said i was just celebrating uh, with it I, I was fired up right so they all said and did the right things even though everything is coming out right and, and the reason we keep talking about this because a uh post-mortem you're trying to do the autopsy and figure out why things cracked and fell apart and died it has ceased to be uh, over the last couple of years. Plus, everything that's coming out about the relationship between or non-existent relationship between Cousins and Zimmer. Did they not like each other? Uh, did that bleed over uh, to the rest of the football team? Uh, it's quite possible. It's like, oh, hey, hunky dory. We're watching film together. First time in four years. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, did the relationship between Zimmer and Cousins poison the well of the culture in, within the Vikings? I mean, it's a non-zero chance. Enter Paul Allen. PA, voice of the Vikings, 9 to noon, getting things on and just like stirring the pot just a little bit. This is what he said. This is cur courtesy of Bring Me the Sports. Uh, back in the middle of the season, home game, and it's a victory. Yeah, Zim snapped when Cousins pushed him. Ooh, all the tea. Uh, Allen said uh, Monday on KFAN. And looking back on it, the former head coach got that side eye and rage steaming from his nostrils, and he wanted to go. Uh, but then he didn't want to go. Kirk sets a, a free shot during the working relationship, and he got one in. So you know, the, the whole relationship, was it a one-way street? No, absolutely not. Did Cousins have some animosity towards Zimmer? He saw that as an opportunity. He was like, hey, I just proved to you that we just got a big-time W, uh, and I'm just going to... Shove an old man. <laughs> Was Kirk Cousins thinking of that? Who knows? There's, it's unknowable. There's truly no way to know. Uh, but the fact, so the fact that PA has a good relationship with him, uh, still has to uh, you know work with Cousins. Uh, he's the voice of the Vikings, etc. Like he wouldn't just be spilling all this tea, uh, just shooting from the hip. So this is not rumor, this is not conjecture, this is not speculation. This is Paul Allen getting some inside information on what was going down with Zim. Like maybe Zim off the record, just you know, a conversation between two buddies talking about, yeah, you know, uh, when he pushed me, I was seeing red. Uh, I was going, I, I was ready to go. I was ready to throw down and start, uh, start ta throwing hands, man. But it's just, uh, again. Well, why are we still talking about this uh, on, as training camp is going on? Uh, a new day, a new dawn under uh, Kevin O'Connell, Kwesi Dofa Mensa, Vikings uh, looking to hoist that Jerome Barty because it's funny. Be because it's freaking hilarious, man. Because, I mean, think about it. I mean, last year, this was a very infamous incident. The whole sideline kerfuffle it didn't look right uh, to start with. And now we're finding all, all the background. And, hell, maybe Kirk Cousins, at the end of his career, he wants to cash in one more time. Maybe he'll write a tell-all book. Because you would think that Kirk Cousins would have a lot of inside information of what went down in Washington, the drama with RG3, uh, the drama with Daniel Snyder, coming here to Minnesota, what was going on with Zimmer, what was going on with Spielman. And it's just, I, I just love it. I just love it, man. Where uh, drama in your life, no good. Drama, watching drama in other people's lives, 
Very good. Uh, that's why reality TV uh, is so successful, and the NFL is the ultimate reality TV show. Uh, but that's it. Your thoughts are thoughts. Paul Allen, Zimmer snapped when Cousins pushed him. Let us know uh, your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.